Welcome back. Challenging times can create the best versions of ourselves. This past Friday, friends and family of a couple in love came together for a wedding unlike any we've seen before. News Channel 34's James Atherley shows us how unstoppable love really can be. For some, a wedding at this time may seem unthinkable. Thanks to the people around her, new bride Alyssa Baker says her special day on Friday exceeded all expectations. I haven't felt robbed. I haven't felt gypped in any way. I have felt so incredibly loved and just blessed to have a fiance like Mark, to have family like we have, and to be surrounded by so many so um, supportive friends. Alyssa and her new husband Mark had been planning this day since the summer of 2018. They promised that no matter what, they would get married on April 3rd. Alyssa's sister Maria Steyer says after several plans fell through, it was agreed to have the wedding at the Vestal Elks Lodge. It was actually my mom that came up with the idea um, that we could do a drive up wedding and we kind of put it all together in two days and we made it work. A cousin of the groom has a job at the Elks Lodge on the Vestal Parkway, and so it was fairly easy to reserve the area. Once they had everything set, friends and family surrounded the staging area in their cars so that everyone could see the wedding while also staying safe. We just thought we wanted to do something to cheer ourselves up, you know, and to maybe bring some hope to other brides, other couples that are going through this, you know, and it's trying to make the, the best of a really bad situation. All the vehicles in attendance had access to a radio channel the lodge has so that they could hear the officials, bride, groom, and vows from so far away. The wedding was also live streamed on Facebook. I felt like we had even more love there than a normal wedding because everybody was just so excited that we had finally gotten our time. After the wedding, cars rolled out honking their horns to congratulate the new couple. In Vestal, James Atherley, News Channel 34. <laughs> Congratulations.